Welcome to Prep and Print with Flex, an automated food labeling solution that digitally transforms your food labeling program. After your Prep and Print equipment ships, you'll receive an email that contains the link to the Flex website, as well as a validation code that must be entered to gain access to the site where you can set up your Flex product account. There's also a link to the Flex account maintenance guide, which we highly recommend you download or print for subsequent reference. It provides detailed instructions on how to use the site for ongoing maintenance of your account after this initial setup. From the email, click on the site URL to get started and be sure to bookmark it for future easy access. As a new user who's never logged in before, tap on the Create an Account option. Here, you'll enter details about yourself, as well as the validation code from the welcome email. This sets you up as an account manager with rights to add, edit, or delete foods, locations, and label templates, and to define settings that affect interaction with the Flex website and the Flex mobile app. Following entry and submission of the validation code and your information on this page, Thereafter, you will sign in on the login screen with the credentials that you've created here. You'll be presented with a four-step process that takes you through everything you need to do at a minimum to get your business set up to start labeling. Step one asks for information about your business. Step two, you'll enter all the locations that will be using Flex to label. In step three, you'll select the label design that will print the content you want on your labels. And last but not least, you'll add the foods that will be presented in the Flex mobile app for labeling. After completing the form, note the checkbox at the bottom of the screen. If the business address you've just entered for the account is also an operating location that will perform labeling, then check this box so that the address information carries over to the next screen to create your first labeling location. If details for your first labeling location were not carried over from step one, then enter its details on the left side. In the right column, App users are mandatory because these credentials are needed to sign into the Flex app each day to perform labeling. During this setup process, we limit creation to one app user for each location you enter, but you can always add more later. Consider whether you want one global sign-in for everyone or whether you want each individual performing labeling to have a unique login, but keep in mind that creates greater maintenance over time. Location managers are optional and only needed if you intend for them to create their own local foods or manage their own app users. They have limited access to and limited rights within the Flex website. You don't need to set yourself up as a location manager since your account manager status allows you to view and interact with all data for your account and locations. Location managers can also be added later if desired. If you're entering more than one location, then you'll want to use the save and add another button. This will refresh the page and you'll enter details for the second and subsequent locations. And for each of those, you will need to create an app user, which can be unique from or the same as the one that you created for the other locations. Otherwise, when you're done adding your flex locations, tap on save and next. In step three, you'll select the label template that controls how your labels print. Take a look at the Day Dots label stock you purchased with Flex and pick the size and design on the screen that corresponds with your stock. During your setup, you can only select one size or design. So if you purchased more than one label type, you can add the additional sizes and designs after completing this initial setup. Based on your selection, you'll see one or more options on what content will display on the label. Primary description refers to the name of your food. You may select one or more of these templates.
you'll need to name your template. So be sure to assign a name that will help your local team easily identify it for use in the mobile app. For example, this template might be two by two food rotation. Now it's time to create your foods. Flex organizes foods into lists, which can easily be assigned to one, some, or all of your locations. And within food lists, foods are further grouped into categories, which allow the Flex app users to more readily locate the foods for labeling. So start by creating a name for your list, and then decide how you'd like to add your foods. If your food list is relatively small, you should consider the Enter Manual option. If your food list is relatively large, let's say greater than 50 foods, you might want to use the Import feature. Picking the Import option will require you to download our empty food item list template. If you have your foods already in a spreadsheet, you'll need to copy and paste them into the approved template, otherwise upload will fail. Utilize the help documentation found on this page for assistance with using the template. When entering foods for prep or use by labels, at a minimum, Enter a primary description, which is the name of the food, and the name of the category that you wish to create and assign to that food. You likely want to add a shelf life to most, if not all, of these foods, so scroll over to the shelf life, end of day, or shifts fields to enter a value, or hide the columns in between to make it easier to make your entries. Use the other tabs in the spreadsheet when creating grab-and-go or nutrition ingredient labels. And when done with your food list, make sure to save your template. Return to the Flex website and tap the Browse button to import your created food list. The file name will appear on the page and tap the Import button. choose to enter your foods manually, you'll be asked to first create categories under which to group your foods. You can pick from a large list of predefined categories which are already associated to a color and or an icon for easy identification, or you can create your own and assign your own color and your own icon. After creating all the categories you think you'll need, proceed to the next page to enter your food items one at a time. Enter a primary description and a category, and then if you do need to add the shelf life, tap on the prep tab to make your entries. When done entering all foods, save the list will give you a chance to review your entries and upon completion, it will be assigned to all locations. That's it. On the closeout screen, it's recommended that you download your locations, which contains the location code and the app user credentials that must be shared with each location in order for them to get into the Flex app. Review the next screen for additional guidance on where to change settings, add more account managers, create batches, and much more. Be sure to take advantage of the help materials located throughout the website, as well as our self-help troubleshooting materials on prepandprint.com flex support. Thanks very much for choosing Prep and Print with Flex.